Welcome to the support videos for workload automation. This video will demonstrate how to enable the persistent connection on the Control M agent. Persistent mode is particularly useful in scenarios where we have a firewall between the Control M server and the Control M agent. Persistent connection uses a single port, the server to agent port, for the communication between these two components. Before performing this configuration change, you need to ask your network group to open the server to agent port number for bidirectional communication between the Control M server and the Control M agent. This port number can be found in the ctm underscore diag underscore com output. You enter the name of the agent that you are going to modify. And as you can see for this example, the server to agent port number is 7006. This configuration change supposes us to perform changes on the Control M server and on the Control M agent. On the Control M server, we need to run ctm underscore menu, go to parameter customization, go to parameters for communicating with a specific agent platforms, enter the name that of the agent that we are going to modify, and set the persistent connection parameter to yes. and save our changes. On the agent side, we need to run the CTM AG CFG utility. Go to advanced parameters, set the allow come init parameter to yes, And there is no need to set the persistent connection parameter to yes, since the Control M server will change this automatically. So we save our changes. Finally, to validate that the configuration has been changed properly, we are going to run the ctm underscore diag underscore com utility on the Control M server side and the ag underscore diag underscore com utility on the control m agent side. As you can see in these two windows, both outputs match and shows the persistent connection enabled correctly. 